This video summarizes some of the key ideas out of chapter two of the book, How People Learn. And to me, it's amazing how much you can learn from a chess piece. So in the chapter, they report research on experts. And one of the key examples they use is chess master chess players who pretty much all of us recognize them as experts in a very complicated game. Well, that discussion of how chess players think, expert chess players think versus novice chess players, sets up a great discussion in the book of experts versus novices in, in general, and two key things about expert thinking that help teachers in what they do in the classroom are patterns and concepts. First, patterns. Um, the chapter actually helped me understand a big problem I had had in my own teaching. I'm a science teacher, so I did labs with, with kids. And when kids were collecting data, I knew what the important data was, and I couldn't understand why they couldn't see what the t important data was. Well, in that context, I'm an expert. I can see through everything going on in the lab, and I know what to discard because of my expertise. I know what's not important, and I know what to focus on. Kids, on the other hand, and some of you watching this video, you're not science teachers, you're not science-oriented, and you remember very frustrating te times in the science lab when your teacher was saying, don't you see that? Well, you did see it, but you also saw a thousand other things going on and he didn't know which one to focus on. Well, there's one of the first key things out of this chapter is experts see patterns, novices don't. And one of the best things we can do to help our students learn is to tell them what the patterns that they need to be seeing are. Let them into the expert thinking in the content area rather than hoping that they guess it. Well, that leads right into the next big idea, the big the key finding out of that chapter, and that is concepts. Experts organize all of what they're doing around a few big ideas, a few concepts. Well, if that's what experts do, that's what we should be doing as teachers. We should be telling our kids, what our students, what the big ideas are in our content area and helping them to hook all of the little bits and pieces and details around those big ideas. If you've read chapter one of How People Learn, think about the second key finding where it says that real learning happens when kids, when people are learning facts, but learning those facts, in, they're organizing them around a conceptual framework. Well, that's that that's that concept. So that does it make sense now why students often forget the facts? They didn't have anything to hang them on. They didn't have an expert understanding to tie everything to. So last thing out of the chapter, and it's a teaching implication. It's the idea of pedagogical content knowledge. Who's a great teacher? Who's a master teacher? Who's a expert teacher? Well, the research reported in this chapter and a lot of research being done in teacher education says that it takes a new kind of knowledge to teach well, a new kind of expert teaching knowledge called pedagogical content knowledge. Teachers need knowledge of pedagogy, general ideas of how to teach. They need knowledge of their content, the subject they teach, but there's this new thing that grows in the middle as a teacher becomes an expert in teaching that subject area, and that's pedagogical content knowledge. It's a kind of expertise that only a master teacher has about how to teach that specific subject, often to a specific population of kids. So if you're an expert teacher, you have a special kind of knowledge that an expert in the content doesn't have. I have special knowledge in teaching chemistry that a chemist who's never taught before doesn't have. And the last thing about all of this, 
all of this about expertise, don't forget that it is research-based. The book reports findings from research. These aren't just good ideas. These are all research-based ideas, and so you can have confidence in them. Hope that helps.